Welcome to The Mischief, I'm Valen, and this is Inner Space, a recently released game brought to you by Polynight Games and published by Asper. Uh, so this is similar uh, to Abzu, if you are familiar with that game. It's not by the same people, but it, it is uh, very, very close in, in kind of how it looks. Uh, we're, we're actually going to just jump in here and... It's a little different in that you're not actually a little, uh, like, swimmy dude, kind of, when created the inverse and keeps its world in, worlds intact. Instead, you're kind of a, I don't know, a transforming airplane and submarine of sorts. The ancients built great networks to harness the energy called wind. And it's not the traditional wind that we might be familiar with. This is an energy source. Uh, for those that are familiar with Minecraft, you might call it redstone power. Others might call it gasoline. Some might call it petrol. It's something like that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the, it, it was a power source. Demigods arose and drained the inverse. The world ended. So we're beginning at the end. It is said the ancients tried to escape the inverse, but failed in their last hour. Now the world and its secrets await. And here's the thing. You are actually a little AI. You're a robot of sorts. <laughs> Not your traditional robot either. As you can see, things are just starting to come up here. A little bit of ASCII art. Cartographer. Autopilot interface activation success. Self-learning algorithms compiling success. Cycling wind from ancient's battery. Success. Hmm, interesting. So we're using an ancient battery using wind power already. Establishing cartographer X. Ar archaeologist link success uploading program to airframe success good luck archaeo <laughs> archaeologist <laughs> relic detector enabled booting up begin flight calibration sequence and this is you uh, now I am currently in a little bit of a uh, tutorial but that's all right I'm gonna kind of cycle through this but you can see that, uh, uh, the different abilities that I have. Now those that might get a little motion sick from this, I will try my best to try and keep this from getting a little too crazy uh, and like rolling and pitching and doing all sorts of crazy stunts a little too much, but I t it, it is going to happen at some point. So just be aware of that and I'll move on past this little tutorial. Here we are starting off with a submarine. Hello? Is anybody in there? Hmm. The unit shows no reaction to external stimuli, despite having components for language comprehension. I'll try again. Cartographer, can you hear me? Yes. Yes, it worked. Greetings, fellow life form. I am the archaeologist and... and, uh, oh my, now that you've been activated, I don't know where to begin. So, I am the little flying guy off in the circle on the right. The guy that's talking to me is the archaeologist down there, the submarine. He's in the submarine, actually. Uh, I could ask him who I am. I suppose that's a proper place to start, yes. You, my friend, are an autonomous flying machine, the first our world has seen in a great deal of time, most likely since the time of the ancients. I construct you from the designs that I found in one of the relics, and now, here you are, alive. And more so, speaking to me, astounding. You're asking questions that I don't believe you're programmed to ask. Why am I here? I was hoping you could be my research assistant, if you will. As an archaeologist, I study the ancients, a highly advanced civilization who once lived here. However, in my expeditions, I found that there were places I couldn't reach, areas I couldn't access. I needed a partner. I need you to soar where I can't reach and help me chart the uncharted. Hence, I named you Cartographer. Hmm. Let's get to work. All right, let's talk more discovery. It's time to get to work. Hopefully you didn't skip your flight simulation. Well... You guys did. I didn't. Because you're about to get a crash course in relic collection. So let's test those wings and collect it, then bring it back to me to analyze. I can't wait to see what it is. Oh, one last thing. For now, you should stick to the air. Your current airframe doesn't have the ability to deal with water quite yet. Good luck. So here's the thing. I, being a little flying drone aircraft, uh, exit the pillar by pressing left shoulder, which if I press left shoulder, there we go, I'm right behind this guy. I can I can fly around now. Yes, I look like kind of a an older propeller style airplane. I can actually run back into that little globe and kind of uh, 
you know, re-talk to my little submarine buddy down here if I so desire. I can roll the screen. I can turn upside down. Oh my gosh. Hold on to your stomach. Wow. Okay. So this guy, he is actually a little bit faster than some other frames. And when you unlock things, you can get other frames. But for now, we're just going to kind of run into this. Return to the pillar to speak to our friend. But first, we opened and found an ancient battery. This is one of the things that uh, our friend wanted us to discover. So if uh, I look down here, you can see that there's an ancient battery on this little disc. So if I pick this up, uh, we then process it. This device houses and harnesses wind to be used in a variety of apparatuses. Despite its age, I, it appears that none of its wind has been depleted. It continues as if never used. Let's plug this thing in. Check it out. Wind phenomena. The ancients were drawn to the living influence wind held over the inverse. Bearing witness to its many phenomena, they resolved to pursue its mastery. And you might want to say that, like, the plane of existence that we're on, or the place, uh, I guess, is called inverse. Uh, and it's sort of like the world that we're in, but we're not. it's not really a world. It's more like a collection of, of locations and places, uh, in a way. It's difficult to describe. But uh, as you can see, we now have this little discovery thing here. The battery houses and harnesses wind to be used in a variety of apparatuses, etc. We just back out of that, and that's, that's what we found. Now, because I found it and it went into that screen, it kind of has me, like, perched. So I can, you know, if I want, I could turn upside down. Woo, I said I'd try to avoid that. Sorry, folks. Uh, but I can feasibly kind of aim myself where I want to go. Now, if I go over here, I will head towards this little bubble. Return to the pillar to speak with the archaeologist and deliver the relic. Exit the pillar by pressing this left shoulder. There we go. And I can just zoom over here to this. Whoop. Nice job. Send me the relic so I can analyze it. And this is just early days. Uh, it gets much more interesting and complex as we go. The controls are a little bit to get used to because they are actually flight in most ways. But uh, it, once you've gone through your first few levels, it actually gets really, really interesting. I mean, this is very uh, low-key at the moment, but yeah. Here we go. A battery. Great. Just give me a moment to study it. Why don't you take this chance to practice your flying some more? This may take some time. And you see a little capsule just hot, like flew down to him <laughs> with parachutes. That was pretty good. I'll notify you when the analysis is complete. See you soon. All right. So now let's hit back. And we can continue flying around, uh, you know, exploring this little tiny area. I, I can't go underwater just yet, so that's kind of disappointing. But yeah, I, I guess we'll, we'll just see what we can do. And not to worry, you're actually a very resilient aircraft. So if I crash into this thing, uh, let's try it. Uh, nothing really happens. I just kind of bounce off of it. So it's not too bad. And the fact that there's like no wind currents that I uh, have nearby is actually kind of useful. Let's just cut some of these banners, because uh, why not, right? <laughs> now, if I kind of get close to some of these things, maybe I could find something out, or perhaps he's already finished. Let, let's let's just go re-land. Upgrade is available. Return to the ar archaeologist to receive it. Let's do that. Oh my, this relic is no ordinary find. If my hypothesis is correct, it may allow us to explore far greater reaches than I first thought. Would you like to hear my theory? Yes. See, this relic is a large reservoir of wind, the main source of energy for the inverse. Well, it is a battery. This device uses wind to activate ancient technology, for instance. It opened the door. You can now interact with ancient technology. If it opened that door, what else can it activate? Ooh. Beyond this cave lies the inverse. I spend my days exploring in silence, journeying through abandoned structures, hoping to find anything the ancients may have left behind. Sounds pretty lonely. By collecting and studying relics, I hope to record as much as I can about the inverse. This way I can learn of its past and maintain its history. As with this room, the gates of the inverse have been shut for a long time, but you can open the way. What do you say, cartographer? Do you want to see what secrets the inverse and ancients hold? Do you want to unravel the mysteries of this place together? Let's go. Fantastic. By the way, you can access the relics you've collected via your airframe's digital menu. Take a look at it when you get a chance. Now let's depart. So... Let's actually press that menu and recently gathered. You can actually review the item and go back over the uh, discoveries in it. Uh, we've got a mapping engine here, which is pretty cool. Kind of a brain uh, that that's always good. Uh, airframes. We currently have one, 
airframe. There's no others to choose from. Woodwind. So we just fly around with this thing. I can press forward to actually go much faster. And I can uh, pull back to slow down. I can use the drifting option to kind of turn directions if I want. I'm still going in the same direction, but then I can like turn on a dime. So it's pretty good. Whoa, whoa, but uh, you got to be careful. If you're still going in that direction, you'll run into things. What, what I think is funny, though, is that the uh, the um, the wings on this are kind of like all floppy. So I'm surprised that they aren't like falling apart. But I guess I'm I'm more of a glider with a propeller on on here than anything else. So uh, wait, he's already gotten ahead of us. How did he get ahead of us? Wow, nice landing. While you're here, is there anything you'd like to know more about? Is there any? Um, how did you get here? Lucky for me, there are underwater tunnels between these rooms. Don't be jealous. I may have fins, but you have wings. That's why I gave you that airframe, after all. That and flying terrifies me. Is there anything else you'd like to know? Eh, uh, not right now. Let's find a way out of this cave. Sounds good. All right. And that looks like a good way out of this cave. But before so, let's just do a quick look. Yep, that's where we were. Let's head towards the light. We will launch here and try going at, at full speed here. This thing does go kind of fast at times. And it's easier for me to actually turn uh, through these caves with a, by rolling my vehicle. A bit. Oh, that was a T-Rex skeleton. A really big one, too. That's interesting. And it, rather than just kind of fighting the caves, running into these little globes is going to help because they're a perch. I can, like, land on them and then take back off from them. Well, here we are, the mouth of the cave. Just fly on through that tunnel and... Oh, now this is a problem. The tunnel is blocked. Hey, see those ropes? Do you think you can cut them, like, with your wings? You should be able to cut them with your wings. You're a rugged-looking creature. I dare say you could. If you're running low on space, try drifting around walls to make tight turns. In the places I want to show you, drifting will come in handy. Now then, fly. Fly away. All right, uh, let, like, like good little flying monkeys, let's head forwards and cut these. One, two, and I missed one. Oh, oh, and yeah, I was trying to drift there, but I, I started drifting towards the the wall there we go not a problem and back again fantastic work now we can leave this cave i'm excited to see what you do uh, what you can do out there by cutting those it removed the op the doorway blockage do whatever you have in order to collect relics cartographer cut ropes smash through walls if you have to create new paths just watch your head you never know what those ropes may be attached to keep flying i'll see you soon all right buddy sounds good so let's Head on through. We'll go this way and then kind of turn. Oh, quickly. Oh, God. Oh, gosh. Sorry, everybody. All right, now, now let's let's zoom forward and crash through this broken wall. Oh, excellent. And this is where it really gets interesting because we're not on a two-dimensional plane or a flat area. It's like we're inside of a globe. Everything is kind of circular. And there is uh, an outside floor, I guess. We're, think of it like we're in the, a planet core of sorts. Um, in fact, let's see if I can turn all the way around, land on this perch. There we go. And give a bit more of a, uh, a look. So let's aim here. And it, now I'm hovering in, sp in, in, sp in the spot that I'm at. You can see here. Is the little thing that's holding me. I'm in that little glowy globe. And I can actually rotate around. You can see that the ceiling, there's walls, there's water everywhere along here that kind of rounds all the sides. So gravity is is kind of objective <laughs> at this point. Though it does seem to exist. Um, flight is probably a good idea for a good start. So, oh, oh, this looks interesting. This, this kind of looks like a predetermined path. Maybe we go this way. So I successfully went directly back to the area that I came from. That, that was great. Instead, let's, ooh, shiny. Let, let's go for the little shiny objects here and see what we can come up with on these, if I can actually pull up on this. And we'll try and just gather these. These are actually small amounts of wind, I guess. Pull up and grab that. Ooh, that's, that's another perch spot. And it looks like there's an opening there. But uh, I'm, I'm more interested in actually gathering more of this little wind power uh, that seems to be whoa, floating around. Where is it? Uh, let's try drifting a bit so I can get a good look at it. There we go. So remember, there is no actual up or down, but it, there is kind of a, 
water is along the edges or not. <laughs> so that is something to think of. Now, right now, I am playing with a controller, and it is currently vibrating because I'm relatively close to a relic, which is something that I am programmed to want to try and pick up. So let's actually get that. If possible, I'm going to slow down, circle through here, and pick up this Swiss cheese-looking piece of microchip. Uh, more relic chunks discovered. Oh, in the meantime, let me see if I can still pick these up on the way back towards our submarine driving buddy. Oh, I don't want to hit the, the rocks if I can avoid it. So you can see that, that if I pull upwards and downwards, left and right, I don't turn very much at all unless uh, I like, uh, there we go, unless I actually roll my, sh my ship. Let's see what this thing is. Oh, it's more than just a perch. It's an, uh, like a little knowledge base. Trapped for untold centuries, they wove their homes like branches around great monuments or mountains. Theirs was a life of simple decline, reluctantly drawing from past strength in gentle parasitism. They lived with the hope that this state would bring wisdom and enlightenment. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Well, let's uh, aim up here and try and cut those uh, beams while I'm thinking about it. See if I can actually slow myself down a bit. Get under here. Snap all these and maybe we'll be able to open up another area. There we go. Oh boy, I feel like I've made a really big mess. Oh, but I've also opened up a cave. This is looking quite promising. All right, let's head on in and uh, see what we can find. All right, and we're gonna head down here and go in through here. I'm just gonna cut this. Why not? Because that just looks really cool when I do that. Uh, oh, look, relics. More Swiss cheese looking things. <laughs> we're going to smash through the wall. And the door opened. Okay, this is, I don't know if this is good or bad or cracked stuff to break. Oh, boy. Oh, I'm on a perch. Okay, so I just broke that and unlocked a perch. That's great. Uh, because it looks like I have to go down. That looks like uh, some kind of solid window. So let's aim down here and go up. And, oh, a relic acquired. Uh, so I got like three relics now. This is pretty impressive. Oh, prototype wing. Oh, thank you. That sounds good. Machine part. Uh, this relic unlocks the piano airframe. When gathered, deliver this relic to the archaeologist to receive this upgrade. We need to attach. Mechanical joints. Oh, cool. All right. I, I like the animation of this thing. I, I have no idea what it's all about. Short of the fact that I get a new... Uh, uh, upgrade on my my ship here so let's bust through this wall see if we can find our there he is let's head for him and see if we can upgrade our our ship before moving on uh, to more exploration there we go <laughs> all right uh, deliverable relics we have uh, at least this one to deliver we're gonna launch a little torpedo at him <laughs> there you go Analysis received. Oh, and he launches one back at me. Oh, boop. Hey, nice. And this one's called Piano. The previous one is called Woodwind. And, uh, yeah, that's really, really cool, actually. Um, uh, there's no more deliverable relics at this point, so let's hit back. Oh, nice. So whenever I, I roll this... The wings actually play music as I roll the uh, the ship. It's very, very cool. <laughs> Whoops. Not even paying attention to where I'm going. I'm just, like, too enveloped with this. So I think... Oh, boy. I, I, I have a new ability as well. <laughs> Here, let me actually go to the, uh, the, the airframe's abilities. And you can see that there are the two ones, the woodwind and the piano, which have uh, different stats on it. And uh, I, I have unlocked the ability to dive, uh, which is really cool in that I can actually become kind of a submarine. Bloop. Just like this. And my, my response time underwater is much easier to actually shoot with. Oh, what did I just activate now? Ooh, I open doors, which lets out a bunch of sunlight orbs or something. I have no idea. Oh, and a giant jellyfish. It's like made of pure sunlight or something. Oh, and it's got a super duper huge orb. I don't... 
I don't I don't know if I, if, if this guy's gonna hurt me or not. Hopefully, hopefully he's peace peaceful. I don't know. He's caught in some kind of prison, <laughs> or in a cave or cage or something like that. At least that's what it would seem like. So let's see about trying to let, let's have a quick brief look around. Okay, nothing really too much there, but I am gonna try and gather this stuff on my way through and then we'll try and exit out of this area all right smash i like being able to smash those walls that's pretty entertaining and we're underwater right now if i want i can actually go up uh and launch and then i could always go back into the water <laughs> it's, it's pretty good uh, i like it a lot it, so you know, now you can see how it's kind of abzu like kind of not uh, there are plenty of different ways that I can go right now, but let's see if we can find... Oh, oh, oh. Did I... Did I inspect these places? Oh, no, no, no. I th uh, so I saw three places open up. I'm thinking I need to go and find all three of these places and uh, see what's inside of these. So I will explore a bit and see if I can find the next one. Oh, boy. Oh boy, I think I found something a little bit more interesting, actually. It's that giant glowy fish thing. Wow. Okay, I'm, I'm like upside down and going too fast. I need to... <laughs> I need to try and find him. There's our submarine buddy. Where, where is he? Oh, he's over here. Okay. So yeah, I can actually slow down quite a bit underwater. It's a lot slower than if I was flying. Wow. He's very pretty. He's got some kind of glowy disc. It looks like... It looks like a, a relic of some sort, maybe. I don't know. Let's try checking this out. Oh, I just fly right through them. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm like inside of this giant goldfish. Let me out. Let me out. Uh-oh. I hope I didn't hurt it. Did it? It, it saw me as some kind of fishing lure and decided to try and eat me. Ooh. Okay. Have I, like hurt it or set something free either way it seems to wow seems to have uh, made a giant sparkly area Let, let's let's go uh, collect some of these some more of these orbs and go talk to our little submarine buddy before I get a little too carried away <laughs> oh, I just had to do that. Sorry. It's a lot of fun. All right, so let's try realigning this and head back to here. Talk to our submarine buddy and see what he says about that thing. Cartographer, did you see that? The sun, it's moving. Did you somehow power it when you opened the cage? An enormous ball of collected wind seemingly moving of its own accord, swimming as if it's alive. Wait, you don't think... Okay, first hypothesis. It's a massive wind propelling itself around the chamber with its own power, though I'm not sure why wind would behave this way. Or, hypothesis number two, we've stumbled across something big, something of legend. If that's the case, I'm not sure if I can even begin to explain the significance of it being here. Demigods were, or are, extremely dangerous creatures. In all the stories, they're the reason the inverse died. But this one is real. Imagine the wind it's holding. If you're careful, maybe you can get a closer look. I tried swimming near the demigod myself, but was repelled. It's just too blindingly incandescent. Perhaps if you could just find an opening. Is there anything else you want to know? Nope, that's it. Thank, thanks, thanks, architect sub buddy. We're, we're just going to head back again and kind of go exploring around here. All right, all I found was more sun, more of those little uh, light globes in the other thing, so I think... I think I need to go check this guy out, and I see a lot of, like, little globe-looking things here. They, oh, these are little perch spots. Oh, oh, oh! There we go. Let's let's get a closer look. We're just going to try and pummel this thing until it gives us the, the, the wind we need, I guess. <laughs> Perhaps I, I'm helping it. Perhaps I'm, I'm hurting it. I, I couldn't really tell you. All right, well... Let's follow it and we'll see if we can perhaps get into one of these little globes again. And see if we... Uh oh, uh oh. I think it's getting a little too far away. Let's launch forward to this one. Uh, there we go. And then I just need to shoot myself at it. 
There we go. Got it. And then I just need to kind of hit the buttons a bunch of times. Oh, I got flung out. Oh boy, it, it didn't care for that. The sunfish. Okay, that makes sense. He the, the the architect did call it a sun, or it looked like the sun. Wow, he's very epic. That that's the prettiest goldfish ever. Hello. So much has happened to me. I need a moment to think. That was you, wasn't it? You set me free, first from stone and then from wind. Thank you. As for me, long ago I lit the way for the inhabitants of this world. They revered me as a demigod. They called me the Sunfish, and it became my name. I want to tell you all that has happened in the inverse, and to me. But this place is but a temporary shelter amongst the cosmos. Our time together here is brief. I can only tell you one secret. A demigod is no divine creature. Our immortality flows from the wind we've amassed, and nothing more. My magnificent light came at a cost. It is wind from other lives, other places. So you've been eating everybody to, to extend your life. Nice. Wind gathered to me. It left the world parched and still. Beyond you, the little life that remains is likely bound up in the wind of a demigod like me. Now you have already started to free this wind. Your grander purpose is unknown to me, but I will make you an offer. The days here are turning to dusk. The inhabitants of my world have long since disappeared. And little remains for me to do with the wind I've borrowed. You may take it. In exchange, I ask you, please carry forward my story and the memory of this place. As you forge ahead, attend to what remains, gathering what you can. If you don't, the memory of this place and the echoes of its inhabitants dies with it. Carry the memories with you and they will survive. Little time remains. As a symbol of my trust, I will give over my wind. You may take it as long as you carry one small burden. Don't let us slip into oblivion. There we go. And we get to absorb kind of the soul of that <laughs> what was once called the demigod. Okay. By flying into its belly three times, we were able to kind of shake some sense into it, I guess. So, <laughs> let's see what we can find in the next area. Here we go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video on Inner Space, brought to you by Poly Knight Games and Asper, who gifted me this copy. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give a like, comment, subscribe, and as always, be sure to uh, share the mischief with others if you think they'll enjoy this content too. And until next time, folks, I'll see ya.